Aside from telling that you are late for breakfast or to school, what are the other uses of time? And how can we measure motion by using a watch or a clock? Come on, let's travel in time and get to know more of the uses of time in our topic, motion. Just in time. It seems like we have traveled longer than we expect. Next time, we will turn on our speed booster to arrive faster in our future destinations. <laughs> That's it. That was the answer to our prior query. We use time to compare and measure the speed at which things move, just like the way we travel. Now, did you know that time can be calculated in seconds, minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, years, and so on? Woo! That was a minute of talking, but do you wonder how many seconds are there in a minute? Yes, that is right. If you count 1, 2, 3, up to 60, you already have counted a minute. So 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds. Now for 1 hour, that is 60 minutes. And 1 day is 24 hours. So all in a day, if you count... 86,400 seconds Woo! you have consumed your day counting <laughs> three four what's gonna happen next live holy super happy fun time this book's good i'll take it one two. now let's say that we are given deadlines or time limit in our activities now how long will it take you to do the following activities Number one, how long can you draw a dog? Can you do it for seconds, minutes, or it will take you an hour? Two, how about writing multiplication table by seven? From seven times one is equal to seven, all the way to seven times thirteen. Number three, and how about walking from your bed to the gate of your house? That is great. You are now estimating. Now, estimating your speed is one of the ways to determine if you'll finish the activity on time or you'll reach on your destination fast. You probably have used the words fast or slow to describe motion, but you are actually describing the speed. Now, to be specific, the speed of an object is the distance the object travels in one unit of time. Speed describes how fast an object moves, but how can we determine the speed? 
Now, to find speed, you must measure two quantities. First, is the distance traveled by an object. And second, is the time it took to travel that distance. Now, distance, as we have learned, a standard unit called meter. And time is usually in seconds. So, we may notice that the speed is usually expressed in meter per second. That simply means that speed is equal to distance divided by time. Now, using this formula, you can see that if the two runners run the same distance, the runner who took the longer time must have run at a lower speed, and the runner who took the shorter time must have run at a faster speed. Now, just like in a race, the runner who ran faster will win the race, of course. <laughs> So, if runner A runs for 2 meters per second and runner B runs for 3 meters per second, it simply means that runner B wins because 3 meters per second is greater than 2 meters per second. Now, how about these cars traveling the same distance? Now, which car is faster? Is it the 96 meter per second red car? or the 100 meter per second blue car. Correct! The blue car which travels 100 meter per second is faster. Why? Because 100 meters per second is greater than 96 meters per second. Meaning to say that the blue car runs faster as compared to the red car. Now let's try to solve this problem. A car traveling a 150 kilometer road in 3 hours. So how fast did the car travel? In order to solve this problem, we have to determine the distance and the time taken by the car. Now since speed, looking on our formula, speed is equal to distance divided by time. Based on the problem, the distance is 150 kilometers and the time is 3 hours. Now we have to divide 150 with 3. Therefore, the speed of the car is correct 50 kilometers per hour. Again, remember, speed is equal to distance divided by time. Going back to the problem, the only given are the distance and the time. And in order to divide or in order to get the speed, we have to divide the distance which is 150 kilometers and the time which is 3 hours. So that is 150 divided by 3, that is 50. And then we copy the units for distance. Then we use the slash or we call it per, then the unit of time which is hour. So our speed then is 50 kilometers per hour. Would you like to solve another problem? Good! Try this. Here is the first problem. The man run a 20 kilometer track in 4 hours. Now what is the speed of the man? You are given 20 seconds to answer this problem. Go! Time's up! 
up. Now let us answer. Speed is equal to distance divided by time. What is our distance? It's 4 to 5 kilometers. And the time? It's 9 minutes. Good. Now, what is the speed? If we are going to divide 45 kilometers with 9, what is the quotient? Good. The speed is 5 kilometers per minute. And here is the last question. In 60 minutes, a girl finished jogging the 120 meter road. Now, how fast is the girl? Go! Let's answer. Remember, speed is equal to distance divided by time. Now, what is our distance? It's 120 meters. And the time is 60 minutes. Now, if you're going to divide 120 meters divided by 60 minutes, that is 2 meters per minute. So, our speed is 2 meters per per minute. Whoa, that was fast but mind-boggling adventure. I hope that you have learned a lot today. And before I leave you, always remember that time is gold. We only have limited time in this world, so we have to live our life upright and to the fullest. Bye for now! Thank you.